Hello and welcome to my dating service, the dating service dedicated to find the right match for your pooch based on his or her own wishes. I'm Hagen and welcome to Hagen Dawes Doggy Dating. That is just music to my ears. I couldn't agree with them more. But wait, you don't know what they're saying. Well, those are just some very satisfied canine clients giving a testimony to my amazing ability to find them matches without getting in the way of their love for their humans. Because I, Hagen Dorson, the Dorson part means gift, can read the mind, hearts, and even barks of any canine and know exactly what they're saying. That's my gift, and this is how I share it. For those of you who are wondering how I got my unusual first name, I'd have to blame my mother for that one. When she was pregnant, all she wanted was Hagen Dawes ice cream. And luckily, we were right next to a corner store that sold it by the bucket. So in honor of about 500 quarts of Hagen Dazs ice cream, I was born with a silver ice cream spoon in my mouth. Not actually, but that's how I got my name and it stuck. But enough about me. This is about dogs, happy and fulfilled dogs and their owners, at least that's what I hope. But there's a Zoom call coming in now from Andrea and her wonderful Frenchie, Alonzo. I've already spoken with Alonzo in length, so they should just be calling in to see my match suggestions for them. Take it away, Andrea and Alonzo. Oh, hello there, Hagen. Hello. Oh, me and Alonzo are so excited to see you, to see all the little beauties you've got picked out for my booby boy kids. Yes, we're gonna find you a lovely little Frenchie. Yes, we are the Frenchie girlfriend. Alonzo, <laughs> can't wait. Well, I do have some cuties, as you say, but Alonzo has expressed a very different interest. He wants something very specific. Oh yes, we know. We know nothing but the most adorable, sweetest in the whole wide world, Frenchie for my little munchkin. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Alonzo? Yes. I've got the best for you. Mwah! Look how excited he is. But he just said, he just said that he wants something a little more fluffy, right, Alonzo? So, here we go. I've talked to a couple different pups and I've showed them your photo and they've all expressed a very clear interest in you. See, we've got Sugar and we also have Lady and then there's Jessica. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! No, my darling! No! These aren't right at all! Oh goodness, no. We don't date um white or light colored um fur and uh fluffy. Oh my god, fluffy. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, it's just unsanitary. It's uh, you know, it's they're just long hair everywhere and I mean, of course, my little Alonzo sheds a bit, but it's only some little tiny grey hairs, isn't it, sweetheart? Yes. And, uh, no, this just won't do at all. I'm very shocked at you, Hagen, that you would suggest these, these mixed breeds. Ooh. It was Alonzo's wish to date something very different from himself. He's expressed a very big interest in mixed breeds, but... There is one that he seems to especially like, and she's a purebred. She is a fun-loving, gorgeous Pomeranian named Princess. Oh my god, no! No! Yes, okay, right away, Alonzo. I've got Georgia and Princess perfectly ready. Just give me a second. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's me, Georgia May, and this is my sweet baby Princess. We are both current and former beauty queens. Say hi! This is my sweet little baby pup ball, and she's sweet as can be with her tutu on and her precious bow. She's my little pup ball, you sweet baby. Mwah. Say hello to Alonzo. Say hey, Alonzo. 
Alonzo and say hey to his mama. Hey, hey. Alonzo. Hey, Alonzo's mama. We just love y'all and we're so excited to meet you. Uh, I heard what you said, and I want you to know that Princess comes from a long line of very distinguished Pomeranians from uh, the land of England. They're European, I believe, and some of South Carolina branch, but they are all very distinguished. Now, don't think that you're high and mighty and your breed has anything over my baby. Uh, she is no short-haired, boxy kind of thing with a short snout and snortiness and uh, I know that they're kind of high and mighty with their stubborn as a mule attitude, but this is Miss Congeniality right here. She is sweet as a sweet can be as a honeysuckle. And look at that sweet, sleek, shiny coat. She's got on a tutu. I mean, Alonzo can't do that. And this dog loves attention. Don't you just love attention, Snooky? Look at this face. Oh, she loves attention. That looks like what she would like to do, Georgia May. Just talk to Alonzo. But she was asking if you could just please be quiet so she could try to... Oh my god, no. <laughs> my Alonzo doesn't care a lick about whatever it was you said about your little devil dog. Don't take any notice of that little fuzzy face, Alonzo. Don't be fooled. Black and white and whatever else is inside of her, she's all mixed up. I'll bet she eats Purina Mighty Dog right out of the gas. If you do, just give us a minute and please let Alonzo and Princess just try. Bat ears? He's got bat ears. Do you want somebody with bat ears, Princess? Goofy looking, isn't it? She just told me that's her favorite part of Alonzo. And Princess, do you want a companion who snores? I ask you, look at that snout of his. I bet he snores like a stuffed pig on Sunday. Ugh. What even does that mean? You are reaching way above and beyond your position, honey. Frenchies have a long-standing history of being the breed of choice amongst the aristocracy. Uh, Queen Victoria had a palmy jaja. Is that high enough for you? I'll have you know that there was a Frenchie travelling with the aristocrats on the Titanic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and that turned out to be a real success. <laughs> Alonzo, darling. Now you've upset him. Let me tell you something. My palm is from Lady Palm Pomfret and from Lord Palmy McPomerson's, and she comes from a long line of Pomeranians. I don't know who you think you are, but let me tell you something. I'm going to take off my earrings and I'll go to bat because my darling only dates the cutest, most adorable, eligible bachelors, and that's how I feel. So don't even try to get me started. There is absolutely no way, no way, no way, no how that my Alonzo would ever be with your little fuzzball. Sit up here, Zsa Zsa Gabor. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but let me tell you, I'm Miss Congeniality, 1995 and 2007, and I've had a bunch of women, and my stomach looks great. And let me tell you something, Alonzo is adorable, but he ain't all that. Brains of 100% in the world she comes from a long, little organic pellets. Like I said, the Lord Palmy... Lord Tommy McComerson from South Carolina, ladies Tommy Thomas, and she and was from English, shed. London. Ladies, ladies, please, just let your dogs speak for themselves. Oh my god, no! No, Alonzo! No, my Alonzo doesn't care a lick lady, about Zsa Zsa whatever it is you I know said that you about think your you're little so amazing because you're a European, mm. but no, we are from South Carolina royalty. I've been watching you from a distance and I don't know what to do I need assistance cause I, I got so much to lose I gotta get to know you somehow, some way Well, I tried to tell them, but they just wouldn't listen. And now it seems like Princess and Alonzo are off together in doggy bliss. Join us next week when we see a country boy Great Dane named Fezzik meet a stylish city Afghan named Lolita. And ooh la la, the troubles they get into. 
But that is all we have time for today on Hog and Dogs Dating. I'm your host, Dog Whisperer, Hog and Dorset. And that is K9, and all your dog bones have marrow. Arr!